Hey everybody and welcome to the Daily Scope, 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 Scope for the 9th of July. So yeah, today's aspect is Mars making the Queen Quilts to Pluto. So this transit can bring tension and conflict, particularly in the areas related to power and control. We've got the Pluto contra parallel to Mercury going on as well for a couple of weeks. So this is adding to this tension. I talked about that yesterday. So Mars represents our drive and ambition and Pluto is associated with deep transformation and intensity. So when these two planets form a challenging aspect, we can find ourselves struggling to assert our will in the face of resistance or feeling overwhelmed by the demands of others or life in general. You know, there's a lot of external pressures, cost of living, uncertainty in the world, but, you know, life is uncertainty and saying that doesn't make it any <laughs> more comforting for you or I, but it is the truth if you see how the weather's always changing, how everything, it's all changed, so, you know, we have to get used to this sort of change. Nine times out of ten, we love our comfort zones, I included, so, yeah. On a deeper level, this transit wants us to focus on our saddle selves and our buried emotions and you know it provides opportunities to support that continuous sort of like growth if you're willing to confront your inner demons and work through any underlying issues with self-reflection and the willingness to face your fears you can emerge stronger and be more powered than before the key to using the energy of this transit is to focus on self-awareness and reflection acknowledging any negative patterns of behaviors or thoughts that may be holding you back or relationships as well it's important to avoid acting impulsively or engaging in confrontations during this transit and instead channel the intense energy into productive and positive outlets such as exercise or creativity by taking time out to reflect and work on your personal growth this transit can lead to positive changes and transformation in your life and for content creators you can use this to discuss issues with control and aggression and power struggles in general especially in professional relationships Um, and how trying to dissolve any tension with sensitivity and empathy is the best but how it can be hard because you know we always want to sometimes be right with humans or we don't let go of the past and sometimes it's best not to let go of the past especially if people's behaviours don't change which they normally don't unless they're working towards that actively in their day-to-day life change just doesn't come out of the air so it can be hard to tolerate people and forgive them especially if they keep on repeating the same you know negative actions and words towards you as well so giving tips on how you can navigate difficult conversations and strategies for conflict resolution even if it means just making yourself more immune keeping yourself out of harm's way and not letting people walk over your boundaries of course but you know being immune to the words and actions of others and distancing yourself as I said as much as you can to giving techniques and how to do that as well also talking about how people can transform and rebirth themselves into their new selves and the barriers to doing that which is normally unforgiveness or thinking that you don't have enough time you know you're too old or you're too young or you can never learn and do the things that you need to do and stuff you know because Pluto is associated with deep psychological changes and personal growth so content that focuses on self-discovery healing and transformation as well as you know how to build more compassion into your life and how to encourage yourself to be your best especially when you may struggle with you know self-love and forgiveness and stuff and how important it is to take those daily steps to forgiving and loving yourself because regardless of what you've done you can make amends to those who you have hurt and if they refuse to do that sometimes the best that you can do is just to do all your best to forgive yourself and understand why they cannot forgive you and just you know love and move on from the past so you can at least create a more stable future for yourself which can be hard to do but with your little practice and self-love and healing it is possible so yeah that's the daily scope 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 for the 9th of july